Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft OneNote and to-do lists. This will be a very quick video just showing you um, the benefits of using to-do lists within the um, application OneNote. Um, if you do find this useful please click the like button, hit subscribe, um, it means a lot to the channel and with that said let's jump on into it. Right so we're just going to head over to our um, Microsoft OneNote application and I've gone into my YouTube workbook and I have a section here called to-do lists. From here I have two pages, one's a shopping list and one is a back to school list. Okay, now, first thing that we're gonna do is actually make sure that we have that structured out correctly. We wouldn't want to um, have our to-do lists uh, in an unorganized way um, because ideally you wanna increase your productivity with a to-do list and you wanna make sure that they're all um, easily accessible. Okay, so, what we're going to do is just open up the cursor within our first page here, shopping list, and we're going to just write down a few of the basic um, things that we might want to buy from um, the supermarket. So we'll just go and say, okay, well, we need milk, um, we need bread, we need some pasta, um, we need some water. Okay, so we can continue through put in all of the various things that you're going to want to buy um, from the supermarket. The next thing that we're going to do is actually just where you see the ellipsis at the top of the um, grey container, give that a click. That will automatically select everything inside your um, container. And then we're going to head over to the ribbon, head over to the home tab and then navigate over to the tags section. From here we're going to drop down um, our tags until we see the to-do list or the shortcut for this would be control one. If we click the control list um, what we end up getting is in all of these check markers appear within our to-do list items and we can now tick off as we um, get these from the supermarket. Now the importance of having a checklist like this within uh, OneNote um, allows you to synchronize um, your shopping lists or your um, various other um, to-do lists. So if they're work orientated, it might be a, a certain amount of things that you need to get done to in order to complete a task. Um, in which case, you know, you would create all of these various things down into your list and then synchronize it across all of your other um, Microsoft applications. So with it being in OneNote, you can sync this straight to your phone. And if you're out in a supermarket doing a shopping list, then you'd have access to that particular list you can check off as you are going around. Um, the other thing that you can do obviously with this, depending on the type of tasks, um, I wouldn't want to send this to Outlook, but you could um, actually create tasks um, from your checklists directly in Microsoft Outlook. And so to do this, um, what you do is you go over to your um, little gray container, click on the ellipsis to select everything within it, head over to the Home tab, navigate over to the Outlook Tasks section just here, give that a click. Now you have various different options. Um, so you can obviously create these as tasks with no date for next week, for this week, for tomorrow, or for today. So I'm just gonna click tomorrow, right? So I want all of this shopping list. When I go shopping tomorrow, I want to get these various items. Now, if I just head over to my Outlook, you will see that I've sent my shopping list directly into my Outlook tasks. So now um, I can see both within Microsoft Outlook and within OneNote and across my multiple devices um, all of those to-do list items. Um, and that is how you create a to-do list, guys. Um, it is pretty straightforward, it's pretty basic, there's not too much to it, um, but it's quite powerful. So if you found this useful, please do click the like button, hit subscribe, um, and tap that bell if you want to be notified of all future videos. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video.